Is it normal to say my period twice a month? Why am I saying my period two times in a month? What are the causes and should I be worried? All these questions are going to be answered in this video. Well, before then, let me welcome you back to my channel. If this is your first time you're clicking on my video, thank you so much guys you are welcome please don't forget to turn on the post notification and click on the subscribe button for my returning subscribers thank you so much guys i love you thank you so much for your support today i'll be talking about bleeding twice a month but before we go into it i'm going to tell you a few things about menstrual cycle Although I have a video on this, if you're yet to see this video, the link is going to be in the description box. I believe it's going to help you to understand better what menstrual cycle is. So let's go back to the main video for today. Menstrual cycle range from 21 to 35 days. So it means every woman, a woman can see a period every 21st, every 22nd, every 25th or even every 30th up to 35 days of the month which is totally normal with that being said every woman is different and each person's cycle can be vary every month in some months the period could be lighter i mean they could you might not be you might not bleed as much as you used to in some months some months it could actually be heavier than the way it used to be. In some months it could come earlier, and in some months it might come late. This sometimes might be normal, can be as a result of hormonal changes, stress, and lifestyle, especially what you eat and drink because it can affect your menstrual cycle too. But there are some other reasons why you can experience bleeding twice a month and the first one on the list today is short cycle yes short cycle i said earlier that menstrual cycle range from 21 to 35 days so if your cycles are on the shorter end of the spectrum means you might experience your bleeding twice a month usually at the beginning and at the end of the month if you experience this every month like since when you've started seeing your period your period has always been twice in a month this is you because every woman has their particular cycle because you menstruate twice in a month and your friend menstruates once in a month does not mean you're having problem although there might be medical conditions that could affect your period that could make you see your period two times or even more in a month but what i'm trying to say is that if you have been experiencing experiencing this all your life you have no problem all you need to do is to know how to calculate your cycle if you have 21 day cycle you have 22 up to 25 or even 26 length cycle length i mean if your cycle is between 21 up to 26 days you can experience bleeding at the beginning of the month and also at the end of the month and you don't have anything to be worried about remember the shorter the cycle the higher the possibility of seeing your period twice in a month but let me tell you when you need to see a doctor if you suddenly experience bleeding twice in a month i mean you don't your period has always been once a month and all of a sudden you start seeing your big period frequent than normal then it is time to see a doctor and one of the causes why you can experience bleeding twice a month is pregnancy yes some women think they menstruate when they're pregnant no you don't menstruate when you're pregnant when you're pregnant automatically your menstruation pause i mean stop when you get pregnant but 
you might see bleeding the bleeding indicates implantation bleeding sometimes to hormonal changes could make you bleed twice or even more when you are pregnant it is not your menstruation it is as a result of hormonal changes number two on my list today is perimenopause yes this is a stage before menopause every woman undergoing every woman is going to undergo this stage before they reach menopause and this stage this perimenopause stage comes it varies in different women some they actually have a um, headache irregular period and so on why in some women they experience frequent bleeding in some months their pivot comes heavier than normal sometimes it comes lighter sometimes they bleed every two two weeks every one week anytime so they have a regular period in this phase and it could last for a few years before they reach menopause and once they reach menopause everything will be normal and the period is going to pause so when you're in your perimenopause stage i mean stage before menopause you can experience irregular bleeding you can see your period more than twice a month so you need to see a doctor to be sure of this number three why you can experience extra bleeding in a month is thyroid disorder yes thyroid thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped organ located right in front of our neck right in front of our neck it's a butterfly shaped organ it secretes hormones to control body's metabolism so when there's this function of this gland you know it's either it starts secreting hormone that is more than normal or less than normal in case of hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism is when it secretes excess hormone and hypothyroidism is when this gland secretes less hormone than normal so in case of hyper and hypothyroidism none of them is good for your health because it could result to irregular bleeding even infertility it could lead to sensitivity increased sensitivity to cold puffy face constipation and so on so when you suddenly experience irregular bleeding you start bleeding two times or even more in a month it is time to see a doctor my sister especially if we have never experienced this before in your life you need to see a doctor to get tested to be sure what is going on in your body the next one i'll be talking about today is contraceptive especially postineal i have got a lot of messages on my dm people saying that after they take postineal too they didn't see their period sometimes they bleed even more than normal contraceptive pills could affect your period because you are using this to skip your ovulation i mean you want to use it you are using contraceptive pill the postineal so emergency contraceptive pill to inhibit your ovulation so now if you suppress your ovulation you don't know when your next ovulation is going to be it totally depends on your body and you could bleed anytime you could see lights bleeding or sometimes a menstruation but be careful what you take and don't misuse emergency contraceptive pill because if you misuse it you can experience frequent bleeding that is irregular bleeding another one i'll be talking about today is endometriosis yes endometriosis is it's a disorder when the tissue of the uterus is located outside the uterus let me break it down uterus is a womb the tissue of the womb right when it is being located outside the womb maybe in the ovary in the fallopian tube or even in the abdominal cavity which is not supposed to be there a woman would definitely experience irregular bleeding they bleed very much in this period and as well pain women often complain of 
pain when they're experiencing endometriosis. And the bleeding is not just normal bleeding, it's sometimes dark red blood, like dark. The bleeding, the blood is dark. So when you're experiencing ab abnormal bleeding, please, my dear sisters, go and see a doctor to be sure what is going on so you can get treated at the right time. The next one is fibroid. Yes, fibroid. I've met a lot of patients that comes with bleeding, frequent bleeding. They often bleed, sometimes with pain and sometimes without pain. They just wake up and they see themselves in pool of blood not even light blood sometimes they bleed very heavy so you need to see a doctor like i said you need to see a doctor to get tested to be sure of what is going on and get the right treatment for it the last but not the least i'll be talking about today is skipped or stopped family planning method most of these hormonal family planning method could affect your period when you skip them or when you stop using them yes definitely it depends on the type of the family planning method you're using and this is where i'm going to stop today i hope you find this very helpful thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification and like share drop comment as well if you have any i will reply to all of them inshallah i will see you guys in my next video Bye.